Welcome to our crochet spider web class. Because this is a copyrighted pattern, I'm just going over how to do the stitches and the basic processes. You can get the pattern for free. I will link that pattern in the description. So let's get started. And I actually have a green yarn because the white just gets really blown out with this camera. It kind of overexposes everything. I'm actually going to go over the things in the kit. We've got fun spiders to put into the spider web afterwards. You've got your yarn needle to finish with. We also have this um, hook right here. And that is if you do need to stop at any point, you can hook it in and save your place. It's great if you have any pets or kids in the house because sometimes they'll find that end of the yarn and pull on it. <laughs> And then, of course, our hook, which we have a 3.5 millimeter hook, which is a little smaller than the suggested one, but it works for what we're doing. Um, the gauge doesn't really matter so much on this project. And I did put this out as a beginner program because we only need to know two stitches and one of them is chain and chain is like your foundation. The first thing we'll do is making a slip knot. And I'm just gonna do that by crossing over and pulling my yarn through that loop that I created right there. And that's our slip knot that we'll use to start with. And I'll put that on my hook. And then I'm going to yarn over. And when it comes to holding the crochet hook, I like to hold, like there's this flat part on the hook. I like to hold my thumb and middle finger on that to kind of hold it in place. And then I kind of use this finger to help manipulate the yarn around, um, sometimes pulling it back or pulling it down. And then there's a lot of wrist action as well. So I'll turn it with my wrist so that I can easily pull it down through the loop. And that's how I create my chain. Now with my left hand, I hold my yarn and I kind of just wrap it around my fingers like that to create my tension. You can do different amounts of tension. Um, finding what works perfectly for you kind of might be a trial and error kind of thing. I've seen some people wrap it around twice. I find that's too much for me. And there are also uh, rings that they sell that kind of hook onto it and hold it in place. So I'm just going to keep pulling down through to do chains. And chain is how you start most crochet projects. Um, and if you need, if you like lose track of where you're at on your chain, you can count them by looking at these V's that are created. And then we're going to do our treble. I wrap around twice for a treble crochet. I'm going to hold on to it with the, my fingers here to kind of help keep it from slipping. I'm going to go into that sixth stitch, yarn over from there, and pull it through that sixth stitch, yarn over again, pull through two of the loops that are on my hook yarn over and pull through two of the loops on my hook again, and then yarn over and pull through the last two. So when you're doing even just double crochet, um, you can even do much larger uh, chain stitches. I've done one before that was like a 17. Uh, you do two at a time until you're down to your one loop. So I'm going to show the next treble crochet. I'm going to yarn over, yarn over. I like to hold it with this finger here to just keep it from slipping. And then I'm going back into that same stitch. And I'm going from the front. Behind it, I pick up my yarn, pull it through. So now I have four loops on my hook. I yarn over. I'm going to pull it through two of the loops on the hook. We're down to three. 
yarn over again, pull through two more, yarn over one last time, and pull through the last two. So that is how our treble crochet is done. And then it calls for me to turn my work. So we're going to start working this direction. And the next thing it says is to treble crochet into our first treble. Um, so you see right here at the top, the stitch is what we work into kind of like before the chain, it just, it's a double thickness as from the chain. And the treble is done the same as it was done before. You're gonna be doing a lot of counting. And we'll just keep following the pattern. It's a lot of repeats. If you end up having any problems reading the pattern or need help with the pattern, you can always contact me with the information in the description. So the yarn needle, you can just take your ends and you'll do this at the very end with the tail that you have at that point, um, but we'll do it with our beginning one. You can just take that and then use it to hide that tail in your stitches here. And then I just use scissors and trim that and just kind of pull on it a little bit and it'll pull in that last section and hide it in there. And then we're going to do our second treble crochet into that same spot. And it looks just like that. So it'll end up making like this triangle space. See, I made a mistake. I actually have to go all the way back to the beginning. I forgot to do my treble crochet right away into that same chain space. So that's why this space was like leaning over too much. Here is what I should have done. I'm going to leave a tail. It suggests about 12 inches. Um, and that is going to be used so that you can tie on your like railing or wherever you're tying your spider web up onto. So it doesn't have to be exactly 12 inches. It can be whatever you think you need to tie on to what you're tying it to. And then to finish that off, I'm just going to wrap my yarn around like I'm doing a chain and just pull it down in and keep pulling until it's all the way through. And then I pull tight and that holds it in place. So to attach it, it's calling for the fourth chain from the beginning. So we're just going to count them one, two, three, four. And I'm going to stick my hook into that fourth chain, pick up my yarn. And pull it through. And to lock it in, I like to pick up both of the yarn, the active yarn and the tail to just kind of lock it in place. And then I'll pull that tail through once I figure out which one it is. And then I'll do my chain. I did 10 of them, but I'm gonna take my yarn needle and like before, I'm just gonna take this tail and weave it down in to hide it. There 
there we go. Trim it. Okay, I block it. There we go. That is our spider web. And then you can put your spiders in wherever you want. You can just kind of weave them in. They should hold pretty well. If you really want to keep them in, you could also choose to maybe hot glue them a little bit. And there is our crocheted spider web. Um, thanks for joining. If you have any other questions, you can always contact me.